there, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Talk Show. I'm Susan McCord, I'm the host. Today we have a question from Melanie. She wants to know, how do I stop thinking about other women being with my ex-boyfriend? It drives me crazy that I can't move on. My boyfriend broke up with me out of the blue three months ago after four years together. How do I stop tormenting myself? Picturing them with other people is really hard. It really is. And I understand that it's, it's one of the most difficult things about a breakup is watching them move on with other people. But you really need to sort of sit down and figure out what is the main reason you broke up? What is happening within you as a couple after four years that he just walked away? There must have been something that was kicking around in there that you can sort of put your, your finger on and say to yourself, okay, well, I understand maybe I was meant to be in a better place. Make some notes about what was great in your relationship and make some notes about what wasn't great in your relationship. And now that you've had these three months apart from each other, analyze that and say to yourself, would you really truly be happy married to this person? Now that you've had three months away, watching them date maybe numerous other women, it's making you crazy. Would you ever feel completely compatible with this person? Would you want to marry them now that you've had this time apart from them? Because if they're dating up a storm and there's other women and you're, you're hearing or seeing things about what's going on in his life, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you nuts because he's moved on so quickly, he hasn't even given a, an, an ounce of thought about you and it's only been three months and he's having a great old time. Well, this happens a lot with couples because there's always one person that moves on faster than the other. And that's the sad part about breakups is that we never move on at the same time. If we did, then breakups would be easy. So as I said, take the notes, see, really look at it now that you've had this time away and say to yourself, would I truly be happy with this person? How can I be in a relationship with somebody who walked away that without so many as two words as to what was going on. Why am I missing them so much? What is it about them that I miss? Is it I actually miss them or I miss being with someone? I miss hugging somebody. I miss talking to somebody. I miss having a compatible partner around because that's usually what it is. It's usually that sort of friendship bond that you've established in a long-term relationship. But a lot of the times the other parts are missing anyway. So start getting out a lot with your friends. Be as busy as you possibly can. Do not find out any information about him at all. You don't want to know anything about who he's dating or what's going on in his life because it's just making you nuts. But figure things out about why you're so bugged about this and thinking about him with other women. Because I'll bet you it's just because you never really felt secure in your relationship with him anyway. And that's not how you want to live. You don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who always makes you feel jealous or makes you feel insecure. So in another couple of months, you'll probably look at it and say, you know what? He did me a favor. But in the meantime, that's probably what's going on and why you're going through this sort of a jealous kind of thing going on right now because you just all you're picturing is him being with somebody else, somebody that's not you. So thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. I appreciate all your comments and my new subscribers. And keep your comments and questions coming because I love to use them as show topics. If you don't want me to use it as a topic, that's fine. Just let me know. And we will talk soon. I'll see you next Wednesday. Thanks, everyone. Bye.